guys, Tyler here. Welcome to episode 4. I was doing some prep work for the Tikiot village because I want to use the nether fences for the posts. So I came down here and I got inside a nether fortress. Got all kinds of stuff, man. Two saddles, gold horse armor, diamonds, magma cream, don't know what that does yet. Got some of those, uh, <coughs> um, thingies I was looking for that I can use for brewing. I need to get the... I forgot to grab the stuff that grow on though because I was running out of space. I didn't want to waste stuff. So, let's see here. Finally built up my little... Oh, wow. Well. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, let's try the back here with you. So, I think I'm about ready to start on the tiki farm. Use these little half wooden plank things. Kind of like the way they look. I tested like half plank just look kind of cool. So I think we're gonna go out this way, and I'll kind of have it over this way and this way, and then I can use this other area for all those seeds I got. Hmm. I got two different types of planks here. I'll see what it looks like. Let's see. I don't know about that. Wish I had some darker wood to go with it. I try to see if I can make a nether block like that. See how that looks. Like stone and wood together. Okay, for now I'm gonna build it out. Kind of get an idea where I want the houses. I just build it out that way a little bit. Kind of look around. Yeah. See you then. Okay, let's tie the back here with you. Doing a couple of. Uh, growth test on these trees. I figure if I elevate them just a little bit then they grow up. I can make like a floor and then have the posts going down in the water. Um, we're <laughs> gonna see how it works. So, the reason I got two out there is I want that house to be like a double wide. I think I spaced it wrong though. I think there's gonna be a gap right here in the middle which if there is I'll just grow another tree, fill it out and chop it down. Actually, you know what, I should just do that right now, because they'll know it's going to grow to that way. Ah, there won't be a gap there. Okay. I might have to chop these trees down, at least those ones, because I want them the same height. Like, I don't want one short, one tall. In fact, I think I want them both short, actually. So I can have, like, a step up, and then the floor because floor level is going to be right where those blocks are now. And then I'll chop away the chunk, and that'll leave the leaves on top. So, we'll see how it works. See you in a little bit. Yeah, let's tie the back here with you. Not 100% sure about the design here. Uh, and I kind of like it. Looks like I got some little farms I set up here. The melon and those carrots I got from the nether last time. And there's my basic design for the house. These ones just don't, like something's missing on these old ones. Like I can't quite tell, something just seems off. Like they look scrawny or something. Maybe they're too, I think they're too tall for the width. It's like, wait, wait, whereas that one looks pretty good. Like, as far as the width and the height go. To keep it lit at night, I hit some torches back here. I wish I could cut those out and still have all the leaves. But, not terribly bad, actually. I think that is going to be the design I go for. For some other houses. And build like another one out that way, and another one out that way to kind of make the farm look like it belongs. But as you can see, the sun is going down, so time to go. I'm gonna take a look at this at night, see how it looks. Ooh, not terribly bad. 
too symmetrical right now, though. Need to add some more stuff. So I think I had at least two more houses going out that way and that way to kind of break it up. Not bad, though. Not bad. Definitely the double wide is the way to go. Because those ones just look weird. Like, I can't put my finger on it, but too tall. So I will see you guys back a little bit. I'm going to build two more houses tomorrow. Actually, I need to gather some wood stuff. I'm going through tons of wood building this. So see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, Tyler's back here with you. Been working on the tea hut village quite a lot. Added some more farms. I really should have put that to kind of match that, but that's okay. <laughs> it's random. Uh, added a bunch more torches. I'm gonna put this sugar cane in the middle. Just to kind of make it, I don't know. Looked at it a little less dense. Looks a lot better now, actually. Added some stuff to the houses so I could actually work out here instead of running back to my base all the time. And I made this one over here, the brewing place. So I figure I need water for those little uh, bottles anyways, so perfect place to build it. <laughs> I just go down there and get some water. So that tree is being extremely uncooperative. I've had to chop it down three times and try to regrow it, so let's use our imagination on that part. There's another roof there. <laughs> well, the nice thing is it keeps growing tall, so I'm going to end up with a more filled out roof. As opposed to this one, it kind of has the dip in the middle. That one's not going to have it, which is cool. But then over there, kind of like the diagonal thing going on there. I built a arena. And this thing looks extremely small, but man, it took me forever to build it. Because these boats are so finicky. I think this is the fifth design I tried. And I'm going to have to redesign it again, because I thought if I had this little water rushing in like that, it would make the boat stay. Nope, this one shot off a billion miles an hour and exploded somewhere, so... <laughs> I was like, dope. It's getting there. Don't. I don't know. I'm gonna have to expand it more or something. I think maybe if I get another row of water coming in here and two layers of tri dock, that'll force the boats to push in there. Because it seems to be pushing them in a little bit, but not enough. Like, if. Watch. If I bump this one, it's gonna shoot off over that way. Okay, well, it didn't shoot off. <laughs> but you kinda get the idea. I want them to. If I actually touch them to like come back so they're a lot easier to park now though I'll give you that much I don't really know how to control boats either so as you can see it's pretty disastrous yeah this will work <laughs> definitely was not what I was aiming for but and I think that's about it I'm just waiting for that to grow, and I think we'll call it at least phase one complete. It was kind of cool. Definitely dig it. I'll test now different design layers too. Like this one is two full blocks up. That one is one block up. This one's a block and a half. That one's half a block. So I kind of like the randomness of the uh, building heights. It's pretty fun. So. Not bad, I would say. Took a lot more wooden stuff than I thought, though. Pretty good, pretty good. I just realized this thing kind of looks like a tree. The trunk's right there, the branches coming off. <laughs> but, yep. Actually, believe it or not, it's pretty much a fully functioning base. I, mean, I got all the basic stuff I need there. So, pretty awesome. I'll occasionally come back and check it. So, I think that's going to be the end of, I think we're on episode 4. Um, next episode, we are going to... Remember those uh, extreme hills we saw? I think that's where I'm going to actually build my no-joke base. So, we're going to head off that direction. I got a sweet design I want to use uh, for the entrance.
versions. It's going to take a lot of work though, so I may be off camera for a while working on it. Or tomorrow when the sun comes out, I'll probably go over there and kind of start staking out what I want to do. I got the uh, entrance design uh, loaded up in my browser, so I'm not using anybody else's design. I'm actually, uh, it's a historical build from uh, ancient Babylon that I tried to recreate. So. to be doing something right now but I can't remember what it is so right on guys I will see you for next episode over in extreme hills see you then yeah that's Tyler back here with you I just want to give you a quick update uh took me forever but I figured I'd use the uh, brewing stands and uh I need that wart stuff I found another wart to make like a base and then I've been testing out other stuff. The only thing I've figured out so far is magma cream to do fire resistance and sugar gives me speed. So I'll keep playing around with the ingredients to figure them out. But I found a little blaze hive or whatever you want to call it. So I got fire resistance. I put a torch on top of it last time I was here and they kept coming so this time I'm just gonna try to block it off completely I can use these okay let's go I don't know what this does from oh my gosh are they not hurting me? yes okay awesome okay they're hurting me a little bit exactly what I'm trying to avoid. I think if I fill all the space in... Oh, come on, stop. Okay, just keep filling in the spots. Because torches did not work. And that's what works on all the ones I've found so far. So for now, just get rid of every possible place I could spawn. Oh, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. How do I know? Okay, I got 1 minute 55. God, these guys are everywhere. Leave me alone, man. Okay, I'm definitely not invincible with this thing on, but... getting a ton of levels from this. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. I didn't realize it was going to be this hard. Okay, okay I slowed him down. Oh, little bastards. Okay, well, it's better than nothing, right? Amazing how many levels I just got. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I think I might just hang out here until my sword breaks. <laughs> I mean, there's not so many of them, I can't handle it. This is awesome. Okay, guys, uh, we'll definitely call the end of the episode here, and then I'm going to work on our uh, main base, new base, if you want to call it that. So, see you then. Oh, uh, guys, this is bad. I found another blaze farm. No! I'm just going to hang out here and grab some more EXP. My sword's still going. So, my exit out of here is right there by that torch.
got fire everywhere. I think my sword's gonna last much longer. So yeah, I might have a lot of filling in to do. I like what I did with that other one. I forced him to spawn in another spot, so... If I could force him to spawn in one little spot, I could just kill him. One minute left. Oh, what I really need is more magma cream stuff. Okay. Oh, we're gonna bounce. Cool. I'll see you guys for next episode.